Arr. Do you want to see us break some hooks? These are aid climbing hooks, four different kinds, and we're going to break test them here on how not to hook up. Hi, I'm Ryan Jenks, and welcome to the middle of nowhere in the Sierra Nevadas. Welcome to my boulder in which we are going to connect these hooks to some little lips and pull on them until they break. Go to slackline.com. We got bolt busters and Highline University and slackline groups, all sorts of stuff on there. So we're going to first start with these hooks. Now, a fun story is when I first started aid climbing, I thought I would do a, a single day of aid climbing. So I started on the Lost Arrow Spire, the top of it, there where you rappel down into the notch and then just climb the last two pitches. So the first time I ever used a hook was 3,000 feet up. It took me over an hour and a half to put my weight on it, which is pretty pansy-like because there was a bolt I was leaving. So I'm just right there. It's not like I'm doing like 30 hook moves in a row. I just didn't understand them. I didn't understand how strong they were and I didn't know like what they could do. Now I'm way more comfortable with them and we're gonna find out how strong they really are. I assume that some of these uh, cordelette slings that I have installed on here will probably break first. These aren't supposed to be catching lead falls. I suppose you could duct tape some of them in place if you're in a really gnarly situation. Um, if the cordelette breaks, we're gonna find a way to uh, continue to pull until the hooks basically open up or the rock lip that we connected to pulls off the rock. Uh, watch me, okay. Off play! Woo, hmm. Brian. So this rock here has given me some lip, some lip to work with. So I'm gonna pull downward in this direction, which I would totally get on this placement. The trick is you want it to be stable enough and you don't want to um, bend the, the carabiner and smash against the rock too hard. So we're just gonna pull downward like this and see what happens. If something breaks, we will just redo it. But I don't think the rock flake is going to break in this case. So how we're gonna test this is with a Line scale two, you can get that from linegrip.com. These go, they read up to 30 kilonewtons and peak. And we have a little catcher system here. So uh, when this car was flying, the dyno doesn't go smashing on the ground. Got our three inch SMC pulleys that go to a something to one mechanical advantage and a bobby to one. So we're going to just pull the crap out of this and see what happens. Go for it, Bobby. Oh, it's opening up. Wow. Oh, it's opening. Still holding really well. What's, what's it reading now? 2.32. Wow. 2.73 and it opened up. So 2.73 would not exactly hold a whipper. Not that it's supposed to hold a whipper. You only weigh a kilonewton or less because a kilonewton is 224.804 pounds of force. And this cordelette is plenty strong enough. That's really good to know that that's not the weakest link in this case. So past the Piton Pete just wrote an awesome book and I just bought this from him. He doesn't ask me to bump this. I just love the book. So I want to share it with you. If you're into aid climbing or big walling, this is the book. He writes it in the same humor that I write uh, Highline University, a little salty, a little funny, and a lot of dad jokes. So Dr. Piton, big wall tip of the day. It's got so many photos and uh, this talks about how to smash in some heads and how to put a, a pecker inside of a head. And oh, what's that? A hook. Because it's all about hooking up. Anyways, this is a really cool book. Highly recommend it. It's it's not cheap, but I mean, to print something like this is um, a lot. I mean, I tried to look into printing books and it's, it's a lot. So yeah, support. Support our local climbers. We love the work they're doing. Are you talented? This is a talon and it has different size 
hooks on here. Sometimes people would drill a, like a little quarter inch hole at an angle and you could stick this little tiny guy in there and these outside legs would stabilize it. So what we're gonna do is use the widest one and stick it right here and then take our little catching system. Boom, we're gonna pull sideways. This is the best way that we can simulate pulling straight down in order to, well, do this test. So that flake looks super good enough. And if it breaks, we could always just try it again somewhere else on here. Ooh, it's starting to bend. Oh, sick! It ripped the rock apart. Wow, well that's, um, let's see, that's the angle it's supposed to be, and that's the angle it is. So it kind of looks like it bent a little. It's not pointing down as much, but this definitely can be used again. Stop. Oh no! So the MBS of granite apparently is 3.3 kilonewtons. Let's try to put this on something else. Okay, maybe not the best placement, but it is bomber rock, and that's what I'm kind of aiming for at this point. Give it a tug, Bobby. Oh god. I've always been surprised how good hooks do. <sighs> Speaking of how good they do, Maybe we can try a different uh, hook placement. That was not even one kilometer. Okay. Maybe a little slack and we'll try it again. Wow. Oh, that's scary. It's scary to be that close to this stuff. So this is doing pretty good. It's, we just need a better placement. That was 1.63. I think we're gonna change the angle. Instead of that tree, we're gonna change it over to there more. Ooh, solid. I think this is right. Wow. Oh, wow. Some fresh rock showing up. Oh, what did I say? Four. Wow, oh, you're getting pretty good at this guessing game. All right, so the shape is less favorable, but it's still hooky. Go. Oh, no. Gosh, this rock is, I gotta get better rock. It was nothing. One, I mean, one would still hold your weight if you were to climb, but man. So our next test is going to be this cam hook in this crack right up here. And we're gonna pull in the same direction we were because I wanna see if that metal is going to bend pretty low. I kind of seems to flex when I'm bouncing on them. I don't have another cam hook today to test an inverted cam hook, which I have done and are the most exhilarating parts of my big wall experience. Go for it. What went flying? Oh, it's, it's, it's just the pulley. Okay. Wow. This is in good condition. What's our number? That's not that high. So we're just seeing a theme here with this rock. I guess you just can't take this rock for granite. Three ace kilonewtons. Oh yeah, metals. Fuck. This might be up to five. Stop. Go. So that was a good placement. It totally messed up the metal. Bobby was guessing it's, um, when I said it was bending, it was felt around like three. And that is not the shape it's supposed to be. So, huh, well, three to four. Eh, I don't know if it'd hold the whipper. Maybe it'd hold the whipper. Depends what you put it in, I guess. So now let's play with my pecker. What I have here, 
is the spot that I found where it is constricting right here and open right there. And it sits in quite nicely and stays stable. So that's a, a pretty nice placement. I imagine the rock might break in this case. Hopefully not. Uh, I cannot get a carabiner in here unless I pull it out some. I'd have to pull it out maybe that much and it would change the placement altogether. So maybe the wire will break before the the metal bends or something. So there's a lot of things that could fail on this one. Please leave in the comments below how you think this is dangerous. Go for it, Bobby. So you're saying I shouldn't stand here. You're gonna have to add the multiplier? Six, yeah. Six killing it is. Let's get it, let's evaluate this. Go Peckers, man. All right, multiplied, go for it. We got a Bobby to one. Whoa. That's aggressive. And we'll probably never get that pecker out now. <laughs> oh, sick. The wire broke. The wire that's rated for three kilonewtons. And, it, and the crimp didn't break, the actual wire connection, where, where it connects. And that is above MBS. I am impressed. So, since that is a good placement, is there a way to connect something stronger to it? Soft shackle? How are you gonna get one of those in there? Ah, uh, you can find a way to get a soft shackle in anything. Wink, wink. I hear a lot of rocks grinding. Could be the carabiner grinding. Could uh, be the soft shackle bumping that bump. Who knows? It could be a lot of things. Like six and a half kilometers. What? <laughs> On X pectead. I am determined to break this even more so now. So oh. when did that carabiner break? Oh, this thing's like pretty stuck in there, but, but it shifted. Okay, so the carabiner, where's the rest of it? What did it break at? Eight, 8.1. 8 oh, I wonder, I wonder if this broke because the gate got opened. You know when it rubs against the rock sometimes? Yeah, easily, but that's also the carabiner that we've been using to break all the cams. Oh, for sure. For we've been totally compromising. Yeah, we've been compromising the crap out of this for three or four episodes. So, that was a bonus break. Let's see if we can get this pecker to break. Oh, wow. Eight point six two. Cool. Well, we've compromised the placement so many times that where the rock was contacting this other rock has basically been removed. But 8.62 is pretty good. That's more than a whipper. That's more than, <laughs> is that what we were getting for our cams or 11? Uh, that's what we were getting for the ball nuts. Ah, oh, the ball nuts. Okay. So, but this isn't really compromised. Yeah. Um, my pecker. Is it bent? It's supposed to be. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my pecker's still in good shape. It can definitely be put in more holes. Um, definitely into peckers. I didn't realize how much I really liked peckers. So this was a super fun test. Please leave in the comments below what you want to see tested next. Uh, if you have hooks that are maybe different than what we tested here and want to donate them, let me know. Make sure you smash that like button rather than smashing your cams against, well, these cam hooks against rocks. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, and now TikTok, because we're posting everything everywhere all the time. Cheers.